Wizard is a mass market style card game that doesn't suck. Let's talk about it. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, YouTube. We're back again today for another Thoughts from the Corner with my good friend Lucy. Hey. And Adam. Yep. And we're talking about the original Wizard card game. The winning is the bidding. This is for two, two, six players. It'll take you, I don't know, about 30 to 45 minutes to play. They decided not to put it on the box. And in Wizard, this is a very standard trick-taking game at its core. You're going to have a 60-card deck. 52 cards are the cards you know and love. Four of the cards are going to be Wizards which for all intents and purposes are jokers. They automatically win as long as they're the first card played, and they break the rule of not having you follow suit. Jesters, on the other hand, are automatic lose cards, for the most part, unless everybody happens to play a wizard, and then you have a great moment that you can talk about for the rest of your life. But that won't happen in a five-player game. And other than that, what the interesting quirk of this game is, it goes over a large number of rounds. So I believe we played over 12 rounds. You play over uh, less rounds if you have more, uh, more players and more rounds if you have less players. And every round, that's how many cards you have in the game. Sorry for spitting on you, Lucy. Okay. This is a... <laughs> so round one, everyone will have one card. Round two, everyone will have two cards. Now, the other thing you do after you deal out cards is you flip over the top card of the deck, and that's going to be the trump card in the game. And then you predict how many tricks you're going to take. they got a nice little score pad. There's a whole bunch of little doodads and whip knobs where you're going to be filling that in. And you get 20 points if you're correct in the number of tricks you're going to take. And... The only way you can score points is being correct, because if you're incorrect, you always lose points. You'll lose 10 points per uh, one you're wrong. So if you bid four and you got two, you would lose 20 points. Likewise, if you got six. But that is the original Wizard card game. First impressions. What would you think? Who wants to start? Um, yeah, it was a fun game. Like, trick-taking games aren't my favorite. I'm not really good at them at all. I have no mind for them. <laughs> But this is a fun game. I do like how it's competitive. I'm not really good with cooperative games like well, like some of the cooperative games like Euchre where you're on a team because I can't crew. do teams. <laughs> or the crew. I can't do cooperative trick taking. She's died in space many times. She's <laughs> never been to the ocean. All the rockets. <laughs> never going to the um, But yeah, no, this is a fun game. It does definitely like um, lend itself to just like a little bit of like um, future thinking of just like, okay, if you bet... Depending on how you bet, you can. It's it's from a scoring is like all or nothing. Either you get what you predicted, or you get nothing if if anything in negative points if you fail. Mm -hmm. So very much it it wants. But you also get more points for getting more tricks. So there's a little bit of incentive to over bet, but not by much really. And you have so long in this too. I did. I enjoyed the fact that it was like twelve rounds. I was like, I never felt yeah. stressed out about my score because like I can always I can always just bank some more here or there. I really enjoyed this game. I shot a how to play video, which is, it's mid, uh, being honest, but you should still watch it. And I read the rules and I was like, you know, this actually seems like it's a little bit more than your typical mass market trick taking game, at least to my glance. I was like, I think this might go over well at game night. And I, I enjoyed this to the point that I probably going to keep this game. I don't know how often it'll get played because in theory, I'm like, oh, this is fun. But then in reality, I'll be like, I don't feel like this is going to be the first trick-taking game I grab, but if you're trying to get, um, if you're trying to get people to play trick-taking games that might not necessarily want to play your hobby trick-taking games, I think this is going to be a nice middle ground where there's enough interesting play and strategy that you're still going to enjoy it, uh, gamer or non-gamer alike. In particular. I really liked how it caused you to think a little bit differently based on how everyone else was bidding. Because you might look at a card in your hand and be like, oh, this jack of spades isn't going to be able to do it. But then you're like, hmm, but there's a bunch of people who are bidding zero who are intentionally, if they have that queen, king, or ace, are going to be trying to throw that off. <laughs> and it, it just adds a little extra kick, not to mention mm -hmm. I love the wizards because you can screw people over with them because they don't yes. follow Trump and that's massively fun. And I... Really enjoyed wizard. Yeah. Seat position matters a lot because oh, you get the information, oh, yeah. and and uh, if you're left with the dealer and you get to start, it's like okay, now I've got a lot of control right now. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought that uh, play was quick, and yeah, uh, I nickel and dimed it the whole time and ended up winning by ten. Yeah, uh, but you yeah. could just be like, all right, I got great cards. I'm gonna go all out and get some big rounds. You know. I, I enjoyed it. So here's the, the question I like to ask at the end. If I was going to give this to you, would it make earn a spot in your collection, do you think? Oh, yeah. Yep. Because you play games like this a lot with your family. Yeah. 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 It's 
So at a family holiday, it would. I'm gonna yeah. get to know. Really? really? Well. Yeah. No, wow. I like. It. I mean, like this is a it's a it's a very easy game to teach. Which usually, like my friends are either like very much hardcore board gamers, which this would be a good opening night. Or like, mm. some of my friends who are kind of new to board gamings, and just like, this is an easy one I can teach. So it's like it's trick taking, basic trick taking with like little extra spice. That's a good point. It also like ramps up over time. Yeah, because so like, like you got one hand, you got one card. It's like okay, everybody throw it in. This is how it works. You got two cards. Now you have a decision to make. Yeah. Now you got more decisions to make, and it just kind of builds on itself. Oh uh, yeah. It yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, it's it's very gateway. much. When I look for games, it's like if it's going to be a quick and easy game, I want it to be quick and easy. Yeah, and I I, I, I you have a great point there because yeah, I feel like this is definitely one of those games. And when I say it, you'll be like, oh yeah, I know that style of game. Where it's like you can literally just play that first round and teach it while you're playing. Be like, all right, now we're going to play a real first round because you only have one card. And yeah, that's that's a really good selling point. So, Wizard, we'd all keep it in our collection. I bet you weren't expecting that from this mass market game from... Yeah. I don't know. From... If you're <laughs> but if Wizard looks like it might be your cup of tea, go pick this one on Amazon. There's probably a link below. I don't know. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below because I'm desperate for attention. And in the comments below, let me know. What's the first thing? First thing you're doing if you... Wizard powers. Wizard powers, wizard powers, what you doing? First oh. thing. Making myself rich. That can use the power of money. How, how do you do that? Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna sell potions? Are you gonna what? No, just, just teleport just money, money from a bank to my house. Okay. Uh, they can't trace it, and then I can just use the power of money to buy I stuff. Technically, they could. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she's a wizard. Wait, 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 wait. The FBI got it. Well, I guess like change all you. the numbers. Well, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be like in the vault, and the camera, poof, it's gone. Right. Where'd it go? Okay. No, yeah, I guess you're a wizard. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I like Lucy's answer. I would uh, try and figure out the the rules of my wizard powers because so, some uh, universes... Is it genie rules? Is it... Well, I mean, if it's Harry Potter, you just got an unlimited amount of wizarding, right? <laughs> if it's oh, like... Oh, like mana? Like that sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh. If it's young wizards like that builds entropy every time you use it. You so know? Lucy might immediately die. If you're <laughs> Oathbringer, <laughs> you, uh, you tax your body. But if I survive yeah. and I don't need to use my magic anymore, I just have money. Or Lucy will just be, just be collapsed by coins. She'll be, she'll be <laughs> <laughs> dead because it takes the entire energy to move all that money <laughs> from... Denver, where she took it from. <laughs> I'll start small, I'll start from my local banks, and then go bigger. And then, yeah. <laughs> I would be the greatest athlete ever in whatever sport I chose to be, and I would be a complete anomaly, anomaly playing at sixty-seven in the NFL. <laughs> with, with, and I would just have like a, a slight inch of like protection around me, so I don't even feel sacks, and I would ruin the sport because I'd win every game, and I'd ruin the NFL for everybody. So you're welcome. But let me know in the comments below, what would you do as a wizard? It's always that like, good time you do. <laughs> Just ruin everyone's day. Ruin the NFL, <laughs> test out powers, and rob a bank. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.